Welcome everyone to today's webinar. I'm Stan Kennedy, Healthcare Practice Director, and I'm super excited to share with you today uh, what we feel like at Talon is really the next generation of healthcare EDI processing. So with that, let's dig right into it. So what's in the webinar today? First, we're going to talk about briefly some of the EDI challenges in healthcare. And then uh, we're going to focus on how we solve those challenges with a product called T-Connect. So we'll give you an overview of what that is. And then the following agenda items is really going to be centered around T-Connect and how we do rules management and compliance, as well as how we do enrollment processing. And we actually have a very interesting demo today where we're going to process over 500,000 enrollments in less than seven minutes. So a very compelling demo. Partner management, we'll show you how we do that and some automation tools around that. And then finally, process transparency, how we solve uh, gaining visibility into the EDI management lifecycle. Okay, so let me set the stage a little bit before we get into uh, the T-Connect and how we, how we solve problems by talking about some of the challenges. So first, uh, what we're going to focus on today is really between the providers and the payers. And we're actually going to just focus on a couple of transaction sets in EDI, and that's 834 enrollment and claims. Um, so we're really going to focus on uh, just, just those transaction types, even though T-Connect's coverage of EDI processing um, includes all 11 transaction sets in multiple versions. So how are companies processing EDI without T-Connect? Well, here's what we've seen. Number one, healthcare clearinghouses have quite a bit of the, the today's market in this area. And really what that is is a managed service that companies provide that becomes a hub. So they host an infrastructure that really processes um, and connects to providers and payers. So you can think of this as a hub, a network um, of really spokes connecting the payers hospitals, doctor offices, labs, and clearinghouses. So the idea sounds great, but there are certain downfalls with this, and it, one of those is significant cost. Um, and so typically these are pay per transaction, and as well as a, a significant upfront cost uh, to a, a one-time cost for setup. So that can be a one-time cost per transaction type, per trading partner, and so the stack of cash that you'll need to, to get up and running and then maintain that processing uh, grows and grows. Another problem area around the clearinghouses are a lack of transparency into the processing. So for example, sending and receive claims, what's my error rate? Are they actually being processed? The reporting and the metrics and all those things that, that typically come with a robust EDI management system um, are pretty lacking in that area. And then finally, response time. We've heard from a lot of our clients that the ones that have worked with clearing houses is anything that they need changed or they need to add a new service, a transaction type, maybe they need to add a new trading partner, that can be a, a very uh, long process, weeks, maybe months. So another way that companies are solving this problem is custom-built applications or, or enlisting uh, software application developers to build kind of a homegrown system, if you will. And so they'll build EDI parsers, they'll build transformation processes, uh, and try to really build something that, that, uh, you know, that will work uh, to really connect the providers and payers. Um, and the challenges around this really is, number one, uh, it is the quote-unquote industrial strength um, is very lacking. So, you know, claims and enrollments is a very important and very important and critical processing to most payers and, and providers. Um, and so this is something that you just don't want to sort of, you know, code from the ground up and, and hope that it works. Another issue that we've seen with these type of applications is not being able to scale with growth. Um, that kind of comes under industrial strength as well. These things should be able to grow and process uh, as many enrollments as claims as you need it to do very easily. 
Uh, and then finally, you know, kind of what we've seen around this is really keeping up with compliance and, regula and regulation. Uh, so, for example, going from 4010 to 5010 or going from ICD-9s to ICD-10s. Um, and so if you're building custom parsers, you, got, you, you typically won't be very agile in terms of trying to keep up with industry standards. Next, we've seen where customers implement uh, an integration platform, something like BizTalk, MuleSoft, Delbumi, or a myriad of other integration platforms that provide EDI capabilities, and they, they you know, essentially build applications, integration applications to fit this build. And this is something we actually, um, over the years, we've been doing quite a bit uh, of, we've been doing a, a lot of work around, and we've had great success around this. But the downside is it does take time, um, and uh, these platforms are really built for the masses. Um, they don't really solve a vertical EDI healthcare, uh, and, and they, there's some gaps there. So that's really where T-Connect comes in. Think of T-Connect as that hub that you install, um, and its spokes internally can connect to your claim system. Its spokes internally can connect to your databases and other applications, as well as external spokes, if you will, where it can connect directly to SFTP, it can connect to your providers, such as your hospitals, doctor offices, uh, labs and, and even other clearinghouses, so you can actually do hub to hub as a, uh, a clearinghouse as a spoke. And so this this and this model um, is very interesting, and, and we feel like really what we build around this number one is obviously obviously to be able to connect to those systems. Number two, we've got to be able to parse EDI, and as anyone knows that's worked with EDI, it's a very complex file and very hard and difficult to work with, and 837s are very large. So uh, we feel like we've got very revolutionary parsing um, processes um, that are very powerful but also very fast. And then we also have, uh, on top of that, we have things like archiving, we have things like logging, and all the industrial strength things that you would expect out of an enterprise level solution. Um, but take that a step further, we actually persist all of the EDI messages in our own T-Connect database. So as messages are flowing through it automatically, or I should say automagically, goes into the database. So you have that transaction and that you're storing that transaction and that record of EDI all the, all the time. We also allow you to have better visibility um, into that processing um, through um, executive and operational dashboards and portals. So we put that on top of T-Connect as well. And really where we focused around, you know, over the years developing this product, we focused on uh, three core principles. Number one, speed is king. We feel like that the industry, we've just seen so many times where it just takes so long to process a massive enrollment file or large claims. Um, so we wanted to focus on speed. Number two, the manageability of that file. So it's one thing to actually just parse it, but, a, but for us to be able to act on that um, in, a, in every single data field and metadata, whether we want to implement some type of uh, SNP rules, whether we want to implement a custom enrichment or some type of custom validation, we should be able to do that. And number three, transparency. Again having visibility into that EDI management lifecycle. So at this point, I'm super excited about this. Uh, I think it's time that we actually see T-Connect in action. Uh, and before we actually look at the demo, I want to walk you through what we're going to process here. Number one, we're going to show you an X12 834 enrollment file, and we're going to process that into a file support. Server. So we're essentially just going to copy these files. I think it's around 534,000 enrollments, which by anybody's standard is, is a very significant amount. In fact, I think we'll be able to process this in under seven minutes. So T-Connect will be monitoring through its file connector, that file server folder. It'll actually start picking those up. It'll parse through those EDI files, perform some transformations, and then actually save all of the uh, 534,000 uh, enrollments into our T-Connect enrollment tables. 
And as it's going through that process, we're actually going to give you uh, some visibility into how, how it's processing through one of our dashboards. And this will actually be a, a real-time dashboard as it's starting to process. Before we get into the demo, we're going to drop it in there. We're going to show you it processing. Um, we'll probably um, come back to it just to show you the results. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll let you see it long enough to actually show you how, how fast this thing is performing. So with that, let me, uh, let me get in demo mode here. So hopefully everybody can see this. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate, again, 500,000 enrollments. We're going to drop it in the folder. And um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up this EDI file and kind of show you the contents of it. So here you can see that we've got an 834 file enrollment file. Um, and it has all, all of the different uh, segments and metadata and, and values that you would expect out of this. Um, and what we're going to do is copy all of these files into a file directory where tConnect will start picking it up. So let's do that now. We're going to run this command. It's just going to copy the files into a file location. And then we're going to bring up our real-time dashboard. Now, this, once, it, once it picks up those files and it's already started to process, you can see here that we've already processed 10,000 enrollments right off the bat. So what you'll see here in these metrics, you'll see on the top, you'll see total enrollments processed. Right below that we have sort of a heat map that demonstrates all of the enrollments by member location. And it's pretty cool. We actually set up these files where the member locations are set up in each one of our Talon office uh, locations. Uh, on the right, you'll actually see enrollments by payer, which is very interesting. Um, and then below that, we'll show enrollments by sponsor. Now, we just selected a few fields here, to so a few metrics to really demonstrate this. Uh, anything can be actually implemented here, uh, but we, we select these few members here. So, with that, you can already see that you know we're over a hundred thousand already, um, and you know we're just barely you know barely in a minute. So you know we feel like this is is something that's really revolutionary, um, and we feel like it's 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 going to it's really going to change the industry in terms of performance. So, as I mentioned, another key aspect is not only speed and being able to parse an EDI file in this manner but be able to have access to the segments, to the metadata. Um, and so here you can see um, a graphical representation of once we parse it, we can actually gain access to that data. So you know, we can essentially implement things like SNP rules one and two, um, look at min max values and make sure that you know, it complies to that, and then send a 999 acknowledgement according to those rules. Um, so being able to really navigate this in a hierarchical way, um, we feel like is something that you know is is very different in the industry. Most systems out there today it treats these messages as a black box. You only see it before it goes in the system, and you see it on the other end of the system. But here is 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 something that we feel like is very flexible, and the manageability of it is is really key for us. So data quality, rules management, and compliance. Uh, is is very attainable with TConnect. We feel like this is an area that's really a gap as well. Um, processing the appropriate level of validation and producing acknowledgments. Um, I mean, that's really that that can be a daunting task, and we've seen that over and over again uh, with some of our clients. That this is a really a big pain point. But once TConnect is implemented, it really creates the foundation uh, to you know to really achieve various levels of compliance. And we kind of think of it as really the key actor um, to orchestrate uh, the compliance processes. So once you, have, uh, once you have access to that data, once you can implement framework for validations, maybe you want to do custom enrichments, uh, transformations, and apply SNP levels one, two, uh, all the way up through seven, actually, we feel like T-Connect really has the framework for that. Now, we do include the typical acknowledgments out of the box, so the 999, the response to an implementation guide, um, the, the claims CA, the claims acknowledgement, as well as being able to process claim status requests and responses. 
So bottom line, you know, we, we feel like we've got a, a revolutionary framework again, fast, but also very flexible and very powerful. Okay, so at this point, we're going to talk a little bit about trading partner management and some of the tools that we've deployed uh, to really automate that because we feel like, okay, whether you initially install the system or ongoing onboarding of transaction sets for trading partners or adding new trading partners, sometimes can be a lengthy process. So this is one of the areas that we've tried to focus on as well. So with that, we're actually going to do a demo of uh, automating a trading partner uh, agreement. So here you can see our tool um, and our, our T-Connect process, what this will really do is, let me just describe what we're going to do here real quick. We're, we're going to select a file and we'll select a, a trading partner uh, a file, a sample file essentially, that is in accordance to an implementation guide. So we want to make sure we select a file that follows the implementation guide. Um, and once we do that, um, our T-Connect engine will actually parse through that sample file and automatically create uh, the profiles and, and the trading partners required. So here we can just give it a, a name for the trading partner. So this would be, for example, on the, let's say Talon is the payer. And on the provider side, we could call this a BDS health. And from there, we generate the agreement, give the agreement a name, to Talon, to BDS Health, and that's really the agreement generated between the two parties. And you can see here that everything's automatically, you know, built for you. It creates every single setting. And this, you know, this process alone takes a while to sort of go through implementation guide and set up. So a couple things happens when we actually click this button to create a trading partner. Number one, it's going to create the, the trading partners. Number two, it's actually going to create the trading partner agreements in our T-Connect system right off the bat. Number three, it's going to create all of the schemas, the transformations, the maps, everything that's required, even the connectors. So uh, once we're done with this, you know, you've seen this just within a couple of minutes. We can actually drop in that trading partner sample file and process that file into our system. It's that easy. So uh, we feel like this is something that, again, is, is, is going to be very useful to a lot of companies. The next thing we're going to continue, we're going to actually flip back to our, uh, our enrollment demo, and we're going to demonstrate that we processed 534,000 enrollments. Now, this is no trivial task. Anyone that's ever done this in the industry, this we've seen clients take you know over a day to process a half a million uh, enrollments, and you've just seen this um, you know in under seven minutes. So we're pretty excited about this, and uh, this 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 is you know we're not only just parsing it, but we're saving we're we're saving it out to a destination system, and we can plug in a claim system, your claim system, just as easy. Okay. So now we want to talk a little bit about uh, visibility into processing. So we're going to switch up the demo a little bit and talk about how do we, you know, one of the, again, one of the EDI challenges that we've seen from a lot of our clients is lack of visibility or transparency into what's going on. Um, and so some of the tools that we provide is, one is a dashboard. So we have an enrollment um, dashboard. Uh, it'll look very familiar to the real-time dashboard that we've just shown you, um, but you can see here that you know we've selected uh, a few more metrics here, um, and again, these are just metrics that we've selected. Um, you know, this can be this can be just about any data point within an 834 uh, file or claims 837s, and so up at the top, you really see you know the the total count of the enrollments. Next to it, on the right, you'll see that same heat map, and you'll see enrollments by member in that city. Below that, again, we split out the enrollments by, by sender and receiver. Um, and then over on the left, uh, one more that I'll point out is employments by age. So if we, if we go up and click on by age, so you can actually drill into this data and get a little bit more granular views into this, uh, which is pretty exciting. Um, so all of this is really sitting on top of our T-Connect data. 
Um, and so really the sky's the limit to be able to implement this. You can see here where we've got transaction by trading partner and you can see here that we you know, we can sort of hover over it and get some more metadata about um, that trading partner. And then if we go back, we can actually drill in by uh, location as well. So here you can see it's a little bit more granular view. We can see the cities. So for example, again, we, we loaded these for, for each um, Talon office. Uh, and then you can see various data points around location. So we can see bar charts here um, and really be able to start to look at by receivers and senders um, how we're sort of slicing and dicing that data. So that's the enrollment dashboard. You know, we have this for all transaction sets. Um, we can show you also the claim uh, dashboard as well. We can give you a, a quick view and, and show you what we put together for the claim dashboard. So here you can see we've got a very similar metrics, but we've got the total count up here. This is some claims that we processed earlier. Again, we've got the heat map for the by city and various other metrics here, uh, claim by subscriber city, uh, claims by transaction date. Um, and again, these are ones we've selected. There's, 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 a many, there's, there's many options we can present here. Okay, so that's really on the uh, dashboard side of things. There's also the operational side, um, which we have um, the, our portal here. Uh, and so uh, from the reporting tab, we can go in and, and view by the file. So we can actually see all the files that we processed um, and we can actually drill into that and look at the, you know, per transaction and then all the way down to really by each record uh, where we can then go in if, we've, if we're looking into a particular issue, we can actually go in and view the data as well. And we try to put that in a little bit more hierarchical uh, fashion, which is a little bit more easier to read. We also have different views on this. You can, you can view the actual EDI format. You can actually view this as well on a claims, a standard claims CMS form. Um, so there's all kinds of different ways to interact with this. Now, uh, let, let's go over and just, let's do a quick recap of what we talked about today. We talked about the EDI processing challenges. Uh, you know, no matter how many clients we engage with, it seems like everybody shares the same type of challenges and that's really where we wanted to pivot on is really filling in those gaps. We've also seen the enrollment processing demo speed. Uh, we're super excited about that. We think that's very revolutionary in terms of speed, but also being able to interact with that data real time. We've also seen the data quality validation and rules, how that can be uh, implemented and the frameworks that can be applied. We went through a trading partner uh, management demo where we showed how we could automatically create and manage uh, trading partners on the fly and to really accelerate the, the uh, you know, onboarding new trading partners and their transactions. Um, and then finally we went through reporting and analytics where we show both from a um, executive all the way to an operational view. And then one final thing uh, I'll kind of leave this with is you know in terms of cost uh, when you're comparing this to other systems, uh, we're seeing uh, 50 to 60% call savings over a three-year period. Um, and so I, we'd be, we would love to get in this type of conversation for you. Uh, we love calls conversations um, as we go uh, up, up, up against uh, the clearinghouses and, and other uh, platforms out there. Uh, feel free to email me at stan.kennedy at talon.com and uh, we'll, we'll set up a personal call with you. Thanks, everyone. I hope you enjoy the webinar, and have a good day. <laughs>